Hi friends, welcome to my channel. So friends, today's session is going to be bit interesting for you. Why? Because again, I am going to reveal my salary when I started as a DevOps engineer, guys. Right? So please fasten your seat belts and be ready for actual data because all of you know that whenever i come up with a salary and all right whenever i'll reveal my salary i'll show you my own authentic data guys right so just give you a kind of glimpse what i have done till now guys right that you know that when i started as an application support engineer right then a linux administrator during that period only a vmware administrator right and then cloud administrator and all right and you have seen there are two videos which i have already published right what salary you are going to get as a linux admin for two to three years three years of experience right or what salary you are going to get as a cloud engineer who is having four plus years of experience right so guys for me when i started as a devops engineer because i said if you have to go for a devops role then you have to come via these roles only right then only you will be able to grow and then only you will be able to accelerate your career and you can get more package guys right so can we start the today's session right so today i am going to reveal you in front of you that how much i was getting as a devops engineer because all of you know that i am a lead devops engineer right and i have been working into this especially like devops engineer like when I started as a DevOps engineer, then senior DevOps engineer, then lead DevOps engineer, guys, from past seven years, right? I am working with all set of DevOps tools, right? Including your monitoring tool, automation tool, right? So can we go to a portal? Because all of you know that there are so many portals are available where you can go and find what is the average salary of a DevOps engineer, guys. I am not talking about the senior devops engineer because those things i am going to reveal in the next videos guys and then what is the average salary of a lead devops engineer that i am going to reveal after that so you have to be be patient for that but today's session is mainly going to focus on what salary i was getting as a devops engineer when i entered into oracle guys okay so in oracle basically from there only my journey started as a devops engineer guys and since i almost worked two years in oracle after that uh, in hcl also i worked in two years so it's almost four years right and in Accenture, it's almost three years I have been working, guys. Right? So you can take a complete seven years. I am into all these DevOps tools only. Right? So when I entered into Oracle, okay? So at that time, what I was getting, but before that, let me show you a data which is available in the internet publicly anybody can go to internet and you can search you can find n number of websites right where you just go ahead and type what is the average salary of a devops engineer in india guys so as you can see in front of you that i have written the same thing and you are getting a data devops engineer salary right and this data they are giving on the basis of almost 11,269 salaries whoever the employees has submitted according to that right and you can see it is for all experience right and as I said uh, my experience was somewhere six plus years of experience when I was entered into Oracle right so you can see it's it's almost 5 lakhs to 12 lakhs guys it is showing but can we see over here like you can see right if we mention something here so the average salary of seven to nine years of experience a person can get 10 to 20 lakhs in between 10 to 20 lakhs guys and this can vary i have already told you in the multiple factors are there for your salary when you don't have any knowledge of any of the devops tool because as i said at that time i don't have any knowledge of devops tool what i was having the skill set at that time right that is basically 
complete Linux administration, the shell scripting knowledge I have, the database knowledge I have, the cloud knowledge I have, the VMware knowledge I have. So these knowledge, these skill sets I was carrying at that time, right? On the basis of that, they have given me opportunity to work as a DevOps engineer, guys. So this is why I'm keep on telling you that DevOps tool, you no need to learn externally, right? You see, now if you are going for a DevOps role, so first they wanted to see what is your previous experience. So my experience was a very strong hold on Linux, shell scripting, database, all means AWS cloud. At that time, I got a chance to work on AWS cloud, HP Helion, OpenStack. That is also a cloud private to HP, right? And at that time, guys, I got a chance to work on production support, right? Application support, right? These kind of a roles, I got it. On the basis of that, this is the truth, guys. I got an opportunity to start as a DevOps engineer, right? And what roles I was working as a DevOps engineer, right? That also I'm going to tell you. But for that, who just wanted to know what is the average salary when you are going to start as a DevOps engineer, when you don't have any knowledge of all set of DevOps tool, but you have a stronghold on the technology, which I have just talked about, right? So on the basis of that, you are going to get a package of almost 10 to 20 lakhs, guys. And as I said, it depends upon multiple factors. One factor is that. Another factor is that it depends upon tier 2 city, tier 3 city, tier 1 city, right? Suppose you are in Bengaluru or Hyderabad or Pune, right? Or Mumbai, right? Or if you are in some like indoor and all, right? So that also depends upon if you are working in Kolkata as well, right? So it depends upon the cities also and the packages. At the same time, you have to make sure whenever you are going for the salary negotiation with the HR. So it depends upon your previous experience also because for every experience level, they have a dedicated package guys suppose if you are working as a career level 9 you are working as a career level 10 you are working as a career level 8 or you are working as a career level 11 so guys as per the career level there are some set of budgets will be there right so you have to negotiate with the hr that before going for any salary negotiation please ask him or her what is the budget for this project okay so if the budget for this project is 15 lakhs right and if they are offering you 10 lakhs so you need to ask especially like see if you think that your interview gone very well it's excellent right and they are coming to you for the negotiation right immediately after the interview it means you are in a good position guys so at that time what you need to do is that you need to negotiate with them the salary that what is the budget for this project and they have to tell you okay so if they are telling it's 15 lakhs straightforward you need to tell the package i am expecting as a 15 lakhs right so at a experience of six plus or seven years of experience guys as a devops engineer right so there are multiple factors three four factors i have talked about now let's scroll down here guys and i just also wanted to show you here so this is something which is a total pay trajectory right as i said you the data which i am providing in front of you it is publicly available anybody can go and search but what is authentic data is there what i was getting at that time that also i am going to show you right so total pay trajectory for a devops engineer okay if you are uh, having experience of almost seven years of uh, experience already you have so you have not started as a DevOps engineer, but you are carrying an experience of six plus, almost seven years of experience, right? And then what package you are going to get as a DevOps engineer? I'm not talking about senior DevOps or lead DevOps engineer, right? So here you can see here also it's mentioned as a from five lakhs to 13 lakhs, you are going to get it. I'm not sure what currently people are getting right but again i am telling you this is the data as per the currently available in the internet publicly okay senior devops engineer 13 immediately when you get knowledge of all devops tool just spend two years 
when you started as a devops engineer when you will get promoted to a senior devops engineer then what you are going to get in front of you only it is there and as a lead devops engineer what you are going to get so this is a pro this is a trajectory guys let's say like different companies are there you can see Tata Consultancy Services is there. They are paying around 4 lakhs to 8 lakhs of a uh, DevOps engineer I am talking about who is having 6 plus years of experience or 7 years of experience. For Cognizant is paying almost 5 to 10 lakhs. Accenture is paying 5 to 10 lakhs. Infosys is paying 4 to 9 lakhs. IBM is paying 5 to 13 lakhs. Right? It depends upon other factor also if it is a company is a product based company or a service based company right that is also one big factor of getting a good package guys cape gemini so these are the companies are service based company it's totally dependent upon their client and their budget guys but when you are going for a product based company you might get more package also very honestly i'm telling you vipro is getting 4 lakhs 4 lakhs to 8 lakhs hcl amazon see, see again i'm telling you it depends upon company to company guys right so on the basis of this only i am telling you what is the average salary of a devops engineer who is having 6 plus years of experience right you are going to get somewhere between 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs guys so this is the data which is available publicly in the internet Internet, but how it is really resembled to the actual data right when I started as a DevOps engineer right in Oracle that is the first from there only my DevOps career started guys and it's been almost seven years I am working with all set of DevOps tools right including all my previous experience which I am carrying and Linux is one of my strong pillar right so now here I am going to reveal in front of you right let me show you this okay this was the roles and responsibility guys let me make it a little bit bigger for you you can see my role was a devops engineer over there in oracle okay and what i was working that i was extensively working on github right uh source code management tool practically and in uh, interactive approach for devops tools like docker and kubernetes also i got a chance to work on creating and establishing building process using jenkins and maven so that time luckily i got all these tools in a single project okay automated multiple build system using maven git git uh, jenkins anyway cell scripting was there with me all the time as i said experience build package deploy all environments responsible for creating different branches resolving merge conflicts created configure multiple jobs so basically you can see i have touched almost all the devops tools which is required nowadays right so uh, this is how uh, i was get into you can see these are some sort of complete uh, devops roles only and after immediately after this when i joined hcl from here the package was immediately boom guys so it's you you need to understand the trend first you need to learn and from there only you need to accelerate so it's not like that immediately you are going to get something first you need to grab experience as a devops engineer senior devops engineer lead devops engineer and then only you can manage a team guys it's not like that they are going to directly give you that you should handle a team right it requires a extensive knowledge expertise and experience guys hope you understand now the wait is over guys and let me show you what i was getting when i joined as a devops engineer in oracle you can see in front of you only this is the data guys yeah so you can see dear abhishek roshan this is my offer letter due to confidential policy and all i cannot show you the complete company and all right so only i can tell you what i was getting but one good thing i can tell you because uh this is oracle was a product based company so i always suggest whenever you are going for a devops role and all or whichever the role guys try to get some product based company the package will be handsome package will be there right so when i joined here my experience was somewhere six plus years of experience i was about to complete seven years right so from past seven years right as i said my total experience is 13 plus years of experience so from past seven years i am mainly into all set of devops tools and all right so here you can see guys they have offered me as a this was the designation okay so devops engineer the basically the role could be anything it will be a senior software engineer or a lead 
lead or something the designation can be anything but the work what i was getting as a devops engineer only and you can see clearly oracle india private limited india development center i was into guys and what i was getting i was getting this much and one good thing about oracle is that the deduction was very less so in hand somewhere i was getting 90k at that time very honestly i don't wanted to hide anything in front of you you know me right in 2017 i was getting somewhere around uh, 10.5 is the my total package but in hand i was getting some 90 or something right and uh, some shift allowances also included and all that will touch almost 1 lakh at that time okay so you can understand where i am sitting now so please take my advice guys it is my advice to all of you so guys it is my advice to all of you that please don't be in a hurry bari okay devops role is very versatile please get expertise with all set of tools what i am keep on suggesting you then only your curve will be linear and you will be getting a handsome package in this it industry guys okay so and also those who have still not bought my 100 days of it corporate boot camp please go ahead and buy my 100 days of it corporate boot camp that is the actual way to get into devops engineer guys to be very honestly i am telling you because you have to make your pillar strong means your complete linux shell scripting and your database and your cloud once you make these four pillars strong you are not going to struggle as a devops engineer 100% you will be able to work as a devops engineer guys so i don't wanted to take your more time guys again in the next session i'll come up with what is the average salary of a senior devops engineer with my own salary slip with my own authentic data what i was getting in hcl right till then you have to wait for that video so i am ending up the session here only i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video then please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for all the latest notification guys please do subscribe to the channel more and more so i can come up with more videos like this till then just take care of yourself your loved one bye bye and jai hind guys